Good morning, I hope you're all very well. So I'm gonna be doing a series of tutorials that are purely focused around customizing the WooCommerce single product page, which is one of the most important pages in any WooCommerce store. Uh, I'm gonna show you how you go from the standard layout, something like this, to something far more compelling. And we're gonna be using the WordPress block editor, so no page builders are needed for this at all, uh, but we are gonna be using one of our plugins, which is a commercial plugin called WooBuilder Blocks. So I'm gonna show you step by step how you can create some really beautiful designs for this product page, so here we go. Right, the first thing you're gonna to want to do is to pop over to poodlepress.com and get the WooBuilder Blocks plugin. So there is a free 14-day trial of WooBuilder Blocks. Uh, it's $49 if you do wanna buy it, but there's a free 49, uh, free 14-day trial so you can test it out. And you just install it as a plugin. It comes as a plugin, you install it on your site, and that's all there is to it. And then when you go to your product, so the first step is you put, you put your product information into WooCommerce as you normally would. Here's the one I want to customize. So I'm gonna turn this one from this into something like this. Okay, so if I go to edit product here, you will see that I've already put this product information in. So I put, I put my um, product title in, I put my price in, I've put a gibberish short description. I've also added a product image over here on the right. So if you do want that nice effect where the product image is cut out like this and the background is showing behind it, then you just need to make your product image a transparent PNG. So you do this outside of WordPress. You don't have to do that, but it, it just makes it look really nice if you're trying to get this nice full screen effect. And then we need to start to use the block editor, the Gutenberg block editor for this product. And we'll see over on the right here in this publish box, we have this big enable Woo Builder Blocks button. So we're gonna click on that. And this is gonna turn this normal product into one we can edit with the Gutenberg block editor, the WordPress block editor. So you have three choices to start with with um, Woo Builder Blocks. You can start from scratch, which is the one we're gonna do today. You can pick one of the templates that we provide, or you can start from one of the templates that you may have created. So I'm gonna start from scratch. And you'll see as soon as I click on that, I can now start to edit this product using the block editor rather than that, um, the, what you get in WooCommerce, the old editor. So the first thing I want to do actually for this one is change the background color of this product layout. And I also want to remove the sidebar and I also want to remove the header and the footer because we're, we're going for this nice full screen effect. And we, we'll see over on the right here that WooBuilder now has these settings where we can affect those. So I want to just hide, you'll see I, I can hide the header, I can hide the sidebar, and I also can hide the footer if I want to. I can also change the background color of just the product page. This is just this product page. So you've got, you can obviously use any of these colors or you can also put a custom color in as well, which I want to do today. I just have a custom color for that green as a hex value. So I've just popped that in there. Um, you can also do background images here as well. I'm gonna be doing a future tutorial on what, what you can achieve with that. You can do some amazing stuff with that. And we've now also built in um, gradient support so you can create some really beautiful gradient backgrounds as well. But that's what we want for this one. Okay, and now I want to start to recreate this layout. So this layout is pretty straightforward. Um, it's got a few nice things to it. So the, the first is this, this um, product title, which is actually spanning, spanning across these two columns. So essentially what we've got is um, a title up here and then two column layout underneath with a bit of customization of the add to cart button and this text here. So it should be fairly straightforward. So let's start to do that. Um, now uh, we've built a whole bunch of blocks with Woo Builder blocks that let you basically reconstruct your product page using the block editor. And they're all listed here, okay? And they're all the ones you would expect plus some extra ones. So you, we've got things like product title, short description, add to cart, um, long description, tabs, upsell products, related products. Uh, but we also have some extra ones like stock countdown and sales countdown and split testing. But let's start with this. So I'm just gonna add the product title into my page here. That's gonna add the product title. Um, I need to change the font and the font size here. You see, I can make this much, much, much bigger. And then the only other thing I did here, I think I changed the font to a crazy font, which is this one here, Prata. 
that one there and I think I centered it as well uh, so we can center that here okay so if I flip back here that's close let's make the font really big okay there we go there's my there's my great big font and then underneath here we've basically got um, it's pretty straightforward we have two columns with the product image here and the price short description and the add to cart button over here so what I'm going to do I'm going to add the columns block which is just a standard Gutenberg block this one here drag it into the page and then I'm just going to choose I think just the two column layout is going to be fine which is this option here and now within this column I'm going to put my product image so let's just try and find that if I go Woo Builder, it should find it hopefully there it is product images add my product image in that one there's that and then over on the right here I've got the price uh, sorry I've got yeah I do I have the price so again add block Woo Builder. I'm searching for Woo Builder uh, product price there we go and you'll see it won't be the right color to start with but let me just change the font color to white and I think underneath there all we've got is the Woo Builder short description I think I spelled that wrong indeed I have still there we go short description and again I want to make that white okay so it's looking kind of cool now and then finally all we need is the add to cart the Woo Builder um, add to cart block so I'm just adding that or I'm searching for it now with the add to cart block it'll look like this by default but we've built an option where you can customize it over here on the right so just click in the block itself make sure you've you've actually ed you're editing the Woo Builder add to cart block and you'll see this option here outline button and input if you tick that it changes the style of the button we just need to change the color of it here and again you can change the fonts with all of these so we've we've kind of got our layout um, sorted uh, we've hidden the sidebar hopefully we've hidden the footer if we update this now we should have something approaching um, what we wanted there we go there's there's the original there's the one I just recreated pretty quickly um, so there you go there's a look at how you can create this beautiful um, full full screen beautiful product layout as I said I'm going to be doing uh, many more examples of um, just focusing on the single product page. So if you want to see more, feel free to um, do do subscribe. And if you like this video or found it useful, please give it a thumbs up. It really, really helps spread the word. Um, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.